Hello everyone, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the headlight on a 2023 KTM 890 Adventure R or the regular Adventure version. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do, but with these tricks I'm going to show you guys, you should be able to get it done. It's not too bad. So go ahead and ahead of time, set up your tape marks on the wall. The bike goes 16 feet back. Measure the average of your low beam, which for me was 43 inches, and then place a mark two inches below that also. And you're going to want your low beam cut off to sit just on that lower mark. Um, so check it. If it's too high like mine was, this is the procedure for adjusting it. Um, what you're going to want to do is locate in front of your headlight and go underneath. And on this side, um, there's this hole to access the adjuster screw. You'll see, you want to look for the zip tie here and it's just underneath there. Um, you need to take a six mil Allen to adjust it, but before you're going to do that, you need to pry this wiring harness that's there out of the way. You're going to want to go underneath it this direction and keep it on this side. If you try and sneak around it like I did on the other side, you're just going to be searching around and never find it. It took me like an hour of struggling to figure this out. Um, this is kind of the angle you're going to want to go in. It's going to sit right up against that uh, fender. When the fender is just slightly turned to the left side. This is kind of the angle. Sorry, that's not in focus. This is kind of the angle you're going to go with. Um, if you're lined up with the front of the headlight. The wheel just turned. And then um, this is the side view. I just have this stuff set up here so you guys can see what you're looking at. Um, it's a six mil hex screw. You just use the included one. And I believe turn it clockwise to go down, but you can actually kind of set it up here and sit on the bike and adjust it by yourself. Um, once again, the main trick is to uh, pry that wiring harness out of the way and you should be able to get it fairly easily. Um, if you're really struggling, you can try and take this front fender off like I did, but it's really not necessary, which is what I found when I was putting it back together when I checked again. Um, hopefully these tricks help you guys out. Uh, good luck and uh, enjoy the bike.